Welcome back to Dig Garage. This is Justin. I'm gonna do an oil change on my 08 Cummins 6.7. Uh, I got my Dello 1540. I've always used that. And I got the Mopar oil filter. I switched back and forth to uh, Fleet Guard and this. Um, I'm gonna be doing my grease fittings, my Zerks. Got my grease gun. And I'm doing a crankcase filter, which I've never done. I uh, bought this truck with 109,000 miles on it. I have 146 now. It's been a great truck. and. I hope you enjoy. 3 uh, 8 drive ratchet for the oil pan plug. Oh. Takes uh, three gallons, 12 quarts. So it's gonna fill this thing up pretty quickly. I've never changed the gasket on this plug. It's always been good, it's always sealed tight. Let that drain. Uh, I'll let that drain all the way and then I'll go to my uh, oil filter and get that out. So before I do my, install my new oil filter, I'm gonna load it uh, three quarters of the way full. Drains down a little bit, so. Alrighty, let's take the old one out and put the new one in. Good and snug. All right. I'll bring the pan over right underneath the oil filter on the take out. So I unscrewed it, bring it down carefully. Whatever's in the oil filter you want to dump out. Always write the mileage that I change it at and then the date also on it. And I've had this truck for four years. I put just less than 40,000 miles on it. And I do my fuel filter every other oil change. This is the one in the middle, so I won't be doing a fuel filter. <clears throat> I always like to wipe down where it seals at. Of course, always make sure your gasket didn't stay on the truck. Put a little bit of oil on the new ring gasket. And don't forget to write on the oil filter. I almost forgot. It's 11, 21, 20. I got 146, 400 on it. Back up with your new oil filter. Make 
kind of doing it blind. So to kind of try to do my oil change every 5,000 miles. Sometimes like this one, I went 6,000. I do not drive this truck very much. So Hold on. pretty tight and then back it off just the hair so I know next time I'm not gonna fight it and there you go you got your plug-in oil filter so now we're adding oil to the top And I've always put all three gallons in. It always goes right to the exact mark. Now I got my uh, oil foil all in, tight on the bottom. I'm gonna start my truck and cycle it through. Wait to get your oil pressure up and then you can shut it off. Now I'll wait for the oil to drain all to the bottom and check my engine oil. Okay, eight millimeter, I'm just taking this top valve cover off, I guess you'd say plastic, eight mil. Damn. Make sure I got the right one. Looks like I did. Check the gasket, make sure it's good.
presses in there. Roll the bolts back in. filters in. All we got left is the grease fittings on the bottom, the front end stuff. I have a steering um, bracket on here. It takes a little zerk right here. truck i got all my maintenance done i wrote down my miles and my date and what i did oil filter oil and oil filter crankcase uh, filter and grease my zerks this is just a peace of mind so i can look back and say okay it's time to do it and i keep this for all the stuff i do for my razor my boat and the corvette i just have things um, i've written down so i keep a log of that stuff